It was a sunny morning in Dubai as Maryam bin Rashid Al Maktoum woke up and stretched in her large four-poster bed. She smiled as she glanced at the calendar and saw the date circled, it was finally her birthday. Maryam threw back the embroidered silk covers and walked over to the floor-length windows, pushing back the curtains to take in the view of the glittering Dubai skyline. Another year older, she thought to herself. It seemed like only yesterday that she was a young girl exploring the palace gardens with her siblings. Now at twenty-five, Miriam had grown into a beautiful and accomplished young woman, doing charitable work both in Dubai and around the world. But she would always be daddy's little princess to her father, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the ruler of Dubai. After finishing her morning prayers, Miriam headed to the bathroom for a luxurious soak in the clawfoot tub, surrounded by candles and rose petals scattered on the water. Her handmaiden Halima helped wash her long black hair and apply a lavender cream to moisturize her skin. Emerging refreshed, Miriam selected a floor-length abaya of sky-blue silk embroidered with silver leaves and delicate jewels to honor her Emirati heritage. Halima skillfully arranged Miriam's dark curls and applied a soft smoky eye and pale pink lip. A final touch was diamond and sapphire drop earrings, a gift from her father on her last birthday. You look like a princess today, Habibti, Halima said with a smile. Miriam thanked her and went to meet her family for breakfast. When Miriam arrived at the opulent dining hall, she was greeted with cheers and applause. Happy birthday my darling, said her father Sheikh Muhammad as he embraced her. Miriam kissed his cheeks in respect before greeting her mother, siblings and other family members gathered around the lavish spread. There were platters of fresh dates, cheeses, nuts and seasonal fruits as well as traditional Emirati dishes like balalit and hares. Miriam's sister Latifa came over and hugged her tightly. Happy birthday sissy. I hope you have the best day. Latifa had always been Miriam's closest confidant growing up. Sheikha Saeed, wife of Miriam's brother Hamdan, also wished her well and praised her charitable work. Over coffee and cardamom speckled baklava, the family chatted and laughed together, enjoying the rare moment of intimacy amongst their busy lives. After breakfast, Miriam met with her social media team and friends to go through the flood of birthday messages that had appeared overnight. Her sister Latifa had posted fond childhood photos along with a heartfelt message of sisterly love and support. Crown Prince of Dubai Hamdan bin Mohammed also shared pictures from polo matches and royal events over the years to his millions of Instagram followers, wishing his dearest sister well. The outpouring of love and well-wishes from ordinary citizens of Dubai and around the Arab world warmed Maryam's heart. Though born into enormous wealth and privilege, she never took her position for granted and sought to give back through humanitarian initiatives in places like Yemen, Palestine and underprivileged communities in Dubai. Her inspirational message of empowering women through education resonated widely on social media. In the afternoon, Miriam joined her father for an inspection of the gleaming Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. Sheikh Mohammed was proud to show off Dubai's architectural marvels to his daughter. They later took a seaside stroll along Jumeirah Beach discussing plans to build a world-class women's hospital. Over the years, Miriam had gained astute knowledge about issues affecting women and children in the Gulf advising her father on progressive policies. By evening, Miriam returned to the palace to prepare for the extravagant birthday dinner her father had planned. She changed into an elegantly draped golden gown set with diamonds at the neckline. Halima put the finishing touches to her look with coal, rose blush and ruby red lipstick. As the grandfather clock struck eight, Miriam descended the sweeping marble staircase to greet her guests arriving by luxury cars and limousines. Sheikh Mohammed welcomed dignitaries from around the world who had come to honor his daughter. The opulent dining hall was aglow with hundreds of candles and flowers cascading from every surface. A string orchestra played while guests mingled over cocktails prepared by celebrity mixologists. 
When all had been seated, Sheikh Muhammad gave a moving speech about Maryam's poise, compassion and strength of character. To my daughter, the light of my life, may you continue inspiring the world as you have inspired me. Happy birthday, Habibti. With that, servers carried out lavish dishes of grilled seafood, saffron rice, shish kebabs and baklava drizzled with rose syrup. Fine wines and chilled champagne flowed freely. After dancing with her proud father to a traditional dabka, Maryam made her way around the tables thanking guests personally. Her sister Latifa gave an impromptu but passionate speech at their table praising Maryam's selfless work. The evening stretched into the wee hours filled with joy, celebration and a deep sense of gratitude. As the last revelers left in the moonlight, Maryam watched from her balcony feeling content. Though her lifestyle appeared gilded from the outside, she carried responsibilities beyond her years as a royal figurehead. But with her large loving family and the support of the people of Dubai behind her, Maryam knew she could achieve even greater things in the next year. She looked forward to devoting herself further to empowering the women of the Gulf and making her father proud. With that, Maryam closed her bedroom doors, whispered a prayer 